let's get started. So I first wanted to tell you a little bit about uh, what the Flip Your Trip program is all about. Um, the primary goal is to help folks um, in the West Seattle area get around while the bridge repairs are being completed. Um, if you haven't already heard, the repair, the final repairs are underway and are still on track to be completed this coming summer of 2022. Um, if you aren't already receiving the West Yellow Bridge email updates, um, you can subscribe for that and you'll get weekly updates with photos and timelines and updates. Another important goal for the program is to support the communities that have been negatively impacted by the detour traffic, including South Park and Georgetown. And because everyone has unique mobility needs, depending on where you live, where you need to go, and how you prefer to get around, we're providing a wide variety of travel options in a variety of ways. And these are a quick summary of some of the things that we'll talk about. Also, our program is available in nine languages, and we're working with community organizations to bring the program to more people in more places. So if you represent a community organization and would like to talk more with us, um, we'd love it if you reached out after the presentation tonight. Um, I'm gonna share how the Flip Your Trips uh, program is supporting van pooling, and then we'll hear from King County Metro's Julie and Jason to tell you more about how van pooling works. So one of the benefits of van pooling is that Metro van pools are allowed to use the low bridge, which can result in a significant savings of time for your commute. Um, and then also there can be a significant cost savings because essentially for new van poolers, uh, van pooling is free until the bridge is repaired. And this is through a partnership with Metro and SDOT, where Metro is picking up the first month for new uh, folks who either join or start a new van pool. Many employers either fully or partially subsidize van pool fares, but if not, SDOT will pick up the tab until the bridge is repaired and opened again. And then finally, these days it only takes two people to start a new van pool. And um, we're gonna show you how to find another person to start a van pool later on in the presentation. Hello everybody, my name is Julie Peone and I work in the Metro Commuter Van Program. And um, here are some topics I'd like to cover tonight. Um, I wanted to talk about uh, a little bit our, about our program background. What is a van pool or van share? Information, a little bit more information about the West Seattle Van Promotion. Um, how our program is adapting to COVID-19, um, sharing benefits of ride sharing, and how to get started. The King County Metro program started over 40 years ago. Our program was established in 1979 with about 21 van pools. The success of our program is demonstrated by our longevity and our capacity to expand our fleet. King County Metro is the largest public agency van pool program in the country. Pre-COVID, we had 1,600 vans operating in the Puget Sound region. Metro commuter van participants are people trying to get to work or school. They are consistent. They are a consistent group of commuters. Could be coworkers, friends, or neighbors. The range of commutes could be as short as a 10-mile commute to work, or over 100 miles from, let's say, Cleelum to Seattle, traveling across the pass. So it has a whole range. Van pooling is a great option for commuters working in various industries: healthcare manufacturing, technology, nonprofits, education, government, retail. We have participants from all those different industries. What is a van pool? It's a group of commuters who share a similar route to work. It's a great time to start a van pool, as Stephanie mentioned, since we have temporarily, temporarily reduced our minimum ridership from five participants to two or more participants. And van pooling is reliable since the group members are filling the driver and the bookkeeper roles. How does the van group operate? The drivers usually keep the van at their home. The group determines the route and the pickup locations to meet the riders, and then they travel to their destination for a comfortable, faster commute. 
Vampooling is flexible. Since participants don't have to ride every day, they can join as a part-time rider, they can ride one way, or they can even join two Vampool groups as a part-time rider. We offer various work schedules from a three-day work schedule all the way up to a seven-day work schedule to meet the needs of our commuters. Another option is combining your bike and your Vampool commute. I know it's hard right now with the rain, but there are times uh, where biking is is fun and enjoyable. So commutes, so commuters can ride and bike to the meeting location or bike one way of the commute. And we do have the hardcore cyclists in this area. How does van pooling work? Everything is included in the program. Uh, it's either a minivan or a lar larger van that we have. The gas is included. The group gets a gas card to fuel the van, insurance, maintenance, roadside assistance, an emergency ride home if the van pooler has a sick child or a sick themselves. The cost is determined by several factors, such as the commute distance, the work schedule, vehicle size, and the number of participants in the van. Van pool groups travel in the HOV lanes for a shorter commute and for free through all toll facilities in our region, such as the State Route 520, I-405 I express tolls, and also the State Route 99, um, uh, to just name a few. And many employers, as Stephanie mentioned, provide a subsidy towards public transportation, such as Vanpool. So ask your HR department to see if your company provides this benefit. Otherwise, you can pay online or by check. How does the VanShare program work? VanShare is similar to Van Pool, with members filling the driver and the bookkeeper roles. The, rider, the ridership starts with two or more participants. The group include the program includes everything, gas, maintenance, insurance, and the group decides on their operating guidelines. The difference with VanShare it's, is its connection with another mode of public transportation, such as the bus, the train, the ferry or even the water taxi. For example, it bridges the gap from your home to the train station or from the train station to your work site. How does the group operate? The van is parked near the connecting terminal park and rider station, and the group drives up to a 20 mile trip to link to the origin commute or to connect to your, your final destination. And the van share cost is a flat rate of $200 a month. And that cost is split amongst the group. The promotion for the West Seattle commuters starts with, as Stephanie mentioned, the first month free for all new Metro van pools. And groups can start with two or more. The commute is shorter with van pools traveling on the West Seattle Lower Bridge. Plus, after the first month, participants can apply any employer contribution towards the van pool. And the Flip Your Trip partnership between SDOT and King County Metro will cover the remaining fare until the High Bridge reopens the summer or summer of 2022. For more information about this promotion, you can visit our website, kingcounty.gov, Vampool Saves Time. Also, the West Seattle Van Promotion includes the Van Share Program to link your commute to the Metro Bus or King County Water Taxi. Again, the first month is free for new groups with, and with additional fare assistance available. And again, groups can start with two or more participants. As our region manages the COVID-19 response, we have adapted our commuter van program. We are asking all of our groups to follow the public health guidelines. Masks are required in the van. We ask our groups to regularly sanitize high touch areas in the van and work together on this effort. We provide no contact maintenance service and through the formation process and the reduced ridership allows for more social distancing in the van. Ride share benefits. Commuting in a van pool can save you time compared to driving alone. It's also less stressful because you're sharing the driving. You can save money because you're putting less wear and tear on your personal vehicle. You're also saving money on parking costs and added savings if your employer covers some or all of your van pool fare. 
Participating in a commuter van allows you to catch up on personal time, reading emails, texting friends, browsing the internet, and you can start enjoying your commute. Many Vanpool members have built great relationships while participating in the Vanpool. We even had a marriage proposal in one of our vans. Some people need to stay on a fixed schedule to pick up kids or meet other personal commitments. So Vanpools are great for this because it's a consistent, reliable commute. Now, how to get started. Find a couple other coworkers or neighbors and start a new group. On our website, kingcounty.gov slash metrovans, you will find our starter kit to help you with all the details. We have streamlined our process with an online application and orientation videos. You, if you don't know anyone else with a similar commute, find other commuters and existing van, van pool groups to join at ridesharonline.com. We've had two questions come in. Um, the first question uh, was that in one of the slides it was mentioned that a van pool is 20 to 200 miles round trip. If somebody lives less than, or if somebody needs to get to work and it's less than 20 miles, are, do they still qualify to do a van pool? Yes. Um, so our lowest fare schedule is, is 20 miles, but we do have groups that are operating, you know, um, like a 50 mile round trip commute. So um, we understand that sometimes the closer in locations are harder to get. So it's not a problem if your commute is less than a 20 mile round trip. You can start or you can join a van pool. Excellent. Thank you, Julie. Uh, another one for Julie, I think, too. Is there a number, a minimum number of times per week an individual must ride the van pool? So van pooling is flexible. So if you're joining an existing van pool, you can ride as little or as much as you like. Um, the group, each group needs to operate with at least two people at all times. So it just depends on the group. If you're, if you're starting a new van, you know, you can, um, you know, we have various work schedules, a three-day schedule is the lowest one that we have, up to a seven-day schedule. So depending on, you know, the, you know, the nice thing about Vanpool is you can kind of customize it, you know, for the members of the group. So you can have a three-day schedule and everybody's operating, you know, two to three days a week. You can have a group that works, um, uh, operates five days a week, and you can have people who are only going to be riding in the van two days a week. So there's a lot of flexibility. Excellent. Thank you, Julie. There's one more question, and that is, are there van pools to the West Seattle water taxi? So we don't have any van shares that are connecting with the West Seattle water taxi at this time. Um, but if, if, you know, if you're interested in starting one, please contact us and and you know I understand the shuttle goes during the peak times but outside of those peak times if you're trying if you know you and your coworker or neighbor are trying to get to the water taxi for you know regular commute we we definitely could start a, a, a van share for you thank you Julie that's all our questions for now um, so I know you're here to learn about van pools and carpooling. So I'm going to only briefly summarize how Flip Your Trip is supporting some of the other ways of getting around. Um, for transit, Flip Your Trip is offering folks $25 in free trips that you can use on the transit option of your choice. So that could be the West Seattle Water Taxi, Metro Bus, um, Sound Transit Link Light Rail, Sound Transit Express Bus, um, the Seattle Streetcar, which goes to both South Lake Union and then up to First Hill and Capitol Hill. Um, so you can use this $25 of value on the uh, route of your choice. And there's two ways of accessing the $25 in free trips. One is using Metro's new mobile ticketing platform, the Transit Go Ticket app. Um, another option is if for folks who don't have smartphones or data plans, we're offering a $25 ORCA card. And if you need help figuring out what your transit options even are, we would be delighted to help you plan out your transit trips. Um, you can email us at info at flipyourtrip.org and Jordan or I will um, follow up with some trip planning information. 
Another way you might want to get around is uh, using some of the new e-scooters and bike shares around Seattle. There are several companies, um, Lime, Link, Wheels, Spin, and a brand new company just launched in Seattle this week called Veo. And they ha have uh, electric assist pedal bikes, and those will be coming to West Seattle in the spring. Um, and so you can use the, the $25 in the Transit Go Ticket app on transit, or you could use that to take trips on the e-scooters. And that can be a really handy way of making trips that are short, but maybe a little too long for walking. Or for example, if you prefer to bike, but you've got a hill that's just a little too much for your bike, you can use an e-bike to do those short trips. So a lot of folks use this to access transit. Um, in addition, the scooter companies have monthly plans as well as equity pricing plans um, for lower income um, households. And this can bring the cost down to pennies per mile for using the scooter shares. So that might be something fun to give a spin this, um, this year if it works for you. With that, I think we'll say thanks to everyone and have a good evening.